So we'll start this one by looking at answer choices B and E, and those ones are going to be matched up with that front back projection because we can see this little pink cylinder sticking out the top of our object. You can match that up right there in answer choice B and right here in answer choice E. And more importantly, we have this green cutout, which we can match up here in B and E. But immediately there's a difference because in E, both that bottom and top line are parallel, whereas here in B, that top line is straight and this bottom edge is slanted, so they're not parallel. So if we look here in our object, you can see this bottom edge is slanted. I'll erase all those green edges so you can see it more clearly. This bottom edge is slanted and it's not parallel with this top edge. So we can eliminate answer choice E because this edge needs to be slanted up somewhat like this. Now looking closer at answer choice B, although that cutout looks correct, this section right here, that blue rectangular part, does not look correct because if you look at that same part here in our object, this edge right here is curved. It's not a 90 degree angle at this corner. So here in answer choice B, this edge right there should be curved so we can eliminate B. Now let's look at D. That overall shape seems to match up with that shape from the top down projection. You can even see this 90 degree cutout and that arced cutout, which you can match up here and right here, so that looks correct. You can also find this circular piece there in green in our object, and you can match it up right here in D, and it seems to have the correct position and shape. But the problem with it is that this, since it has this gray center, that means it's a cutout. Whereas here, this piece is sticking up off the top of our object. It's not a circle cutout, it's actually a cylinder. So this piece right here in answer choice D should be filled in. You shouldn't actually see that circular piece at all because it's not going to be visible when you look at it from that top down projection in our keyhole. So we can eliminate D since this section right here should just be completely filled in. And lastly, we'll look at A and C. The only difference between the two is that this piece right here in A is centered, whereas here in C, you can see that it's pushed to this side of our object. So we're looking at this cylinder right here, and from this rectangular outline of the rest of that keyhole, you can tell that we're looking at that left-right projection. So again, we have to figure out if this teal piece is in the center or pushed to one side. And if you just look at this length from the front of the object to that cylinder, and from that cylinder to the back of the object, you can see it's not centered. The length to the front is far longer, so we can eliminate answer choice A, because that's showing us that the length in back and in front of the object is the same, which is incorrect. Answer choice C is correct because it has that correct outline. The length to the front of the object in yellow is much longer than the length to the back of the object here in maroon. So answer choice C is correct.